Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're going to take a look at how to solve problems that use both the mirror equation and the magnification equation for mirrors. If you haven't yet watched the video on the mirror equation or the uh, magnification equation for mirrors, please watch those videos first. I'll put a link in the description box below because you'll need to know that information in order to understand the lesson that we're doing today. So we have one learning goal here to calculate magnification, object height, image height, object distance, image distance, or focal length when given the other required variables using a combination of the mirror equation and the magnification equation. So let's just do a little bit of a review here. This is our mirror equation and in white it shows the original formula for the mirror equation and then the equations below show the different versions of the equation where uh, each of the individual variables are isolated so that we could actually use them use those equations to solve problems. And then here's our magnification equation. Again, in white, it shows the full format of the magnification equation. And then the orange, green, and blue equations show the different pieces of the magnification equation that can be used in isolation. So let's take a look at an example here. Determine the image distance and image height for a 5 centimeter tall object placed 30 centimeters from a concave mirror having a focal length of 15 centimeters. So let's find the information that we have in this question. So we have a 5.00 centimeter tall object placed 30.00 centim centimeters from a concave mirror that has a focal length of 15 centimeters. So let's write out our given information. So we have a 5.00 centimeter tall object, so that's the height of the object, which is 5.00 centimeters. And I chose positive 5.00 because HO is always a positive number. And then that in our object is placed 30.00 centimeters from a concave mirror. Now I chose positive 30.00 because DO is always a positive value. And then we have a focal length of 15 centimeters. I chose positive 15 for this because it tells us it is a concave mirror and concave mirrors have the convention of a positive sign. So what is required? We need to find the image distance which is DI and the image height which is HI. So what can we do to solve this problem? We have information about heights, distances, and focal length. Um, if we tried using the magnification equation, we don't have enough information to be able to use any of those pieces of the equation. However, with um, DO and with F, we can find DI using the thin lens, or sorry, using the mirror equation. So with the distance of the object and the focus, we can use the mirror equation. So let's do that now. So for our analysis, we'll use 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. And we can rearrange that equation so that DI is equal to DO times F over DO minus F. And so this here is all part A. So if we substitute and solve here, DI is going to equal 30.00 centimeters times 15 centimeters over 30.00 centimeters minus 15 centimeters. So if we do that math, we'll end up with 30 centimeters. Only two significant digits here because 15 only has two significant digits. So I'm going to switch to the next slide. We'll lose this information here, but you should have it copied on your page already so that you can refer back to these values. So now we're going to do the second part. So we have more information so that we can now use the magnification equation. So if we use this version of the magnification equation, HO, or sorry, HI over HO equals negative DI over DO. We can rearrange that equation so that HI is equal to negative DI times HO over DO. So this all is part B. 
So we're able to use this equation now because we solve for di. We already had do and we already had ho. So now if we substitute and solve, we have negative and our di that we just solved is 30 centimeters times our HO which was 5.00 centimeters over our DO which was 30.00 centimeters and if we solve that math there we end up with negative 5.0 centimeters again two significant digits so we can write our sentence here so the inverted real image. So how did I know that it was inverted and real? Well our HI is a negative value which means it's an inverted image and we know that it's real because DI from our part A was a positive value and DI is positive for real images. So our inverted real image is 5.0 centimeters tall and uh, 30 centimeters from the mirror. So this is how we would solve a problem like that. Let's take a look at another type of example. Determine the magnification of the image for an object placed 12.25 centimeters from a convex mirror having a focal length of 6.38 centimeters. So again, we're given lots of information, so let's find all of it. So we have an object place 12.25 centimeters from a convex mirror that has a focal length of 6.38 centimeters. So let's write down our given information. So the original object is placed this far from the mirror, so that would be DO, the distance of the object, is 12.25 centimeters. I chose positive 12.25 because DO is always a positive number. And then we have the focal length of 6.38 centimeters. Now it tells us we're dealing with a convex mirror, which means we need to write negative 6.38 centimeters. So what is required of us? We need to find the magnification. So how do we analyze this question? Well, in order to find magnification, we could use DO, but we would also need to know what DI is, and we don't have any information about DI right now. However, because we have DO and we also have the focal length, we can calculate DI, and then using DI and DO from the question, we can then solve for the magnification. So that's what we'll do here. So we'll start off by using our, uh, mag our mirror equation. So 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. And we can rearrange this equation for DI. So that will equal DO times F over DO minus F. And so this all here is the first part, part A. So to substitute and solve here, we'll have DI equals and DO is 12.25 centimeters times negative 6.38 centimeters over and then DO 12.25 centimeters minus negative 6.38 centimeters and that will give us a final answer of negative Oops, 4.20 centimeters. So now we have DI. We can use that information to calculate the magnification. So again, you should write all this down because when I switch slides, you won't have this information anymore up here. So for part B, we can now use our magnification equation and we'll use the piece that deals with distances and magnification. So M equals negative DI over DO. And since we need to calculate magnification, we'll use the uh, equation in that form. So now we need to substitute and solve. So magnification equals, and we have negative, and then our DI 
is negative 4.20, this is the value that we just calculated, over, and our DO was 12.25 centimeters, and that comes from the question. And if we calculate that out, we'll end up with 0 0.34 fold magnification. So if we write our sentence here, the virtual image is magnified 0 0.34 fold. So this is how we would solve a problem like that. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to calculate magnification, object height, image height, object distance, and image distance, and focal length when given the other required variables using a combination of the mirror equation and the magnification equation. If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.